Alright, well I'm back at working with the cap tread again. Right now I've got the uh, positive and negative lead of the capacitor shorted out with that green wire. Uh, and my meter is hooked up to the case and the white wire goes to the negative of the meter and the case goes to the positive of the meter. And right now, uh, it's point, uh, well the voltage is going down. As you would expect with a um, it being hooked up to the meter, nothing extraordinary about that. Um, just want to go let it go down uh, another point, so it shouldn't take that long. Uh, we're at point six six four volts, and something interesting I noticed is when I touch the top of the capacitor with my finger watch what happens and the voltage will start going up and I was like hmm what am I doing and when I removed my finger I thought that I was grounding it Really, I wasn't. When I remove my finger, it's going to start going back down again. Watch as it starts going back down again. Soon, this will start making sense as why the voltage step kept going up uh, when I removed my finger, but it will start going back down. I'm not touching it anymore, so. But the voltage started going up when I touched the capacitor itself. So the voltage after I moved my finger, the voltage will start going back down. I was like, hmm, what's going on here? Why did the voltage go up? And at first I thought I was grounding it. But uh, I'm going to prove to you that I'm not uh, grounding it. Uh, that red alligator clip, which goes right here, all the way over here to the probe. If I was grounding it, touching that will also make it go up in voltage. And of course, it's going down in voltage. Hmm. Well, if I'm not grounding it, then why did that voltage go up when I touched the case of the capacitor? Hmm. Well, it's actually the heat. When you apply heat to it, my hand, which gives off heat, at first I thought it was the human electricity, but it wasn't. It's my hand that gives off heat. Uh, when my hand was giving off heat, uh, it caused it to go up. And that's called a thermocouple. Uh, but what's, uh, let me demonstrate even further. I have a proof that to prove to you that actually the, actually the heat that makes it go up. I have a hot glue gun right here. And about right here where my thumb is, that's actually pretty hot. It gets hot right there. So I'm gonna touch the top of the capacitor with a hot glue gun. Um, I'll show you that it's hot. I'm gonna squeeze it, and you can see that there's hot glue that came out. All right, try to get rid of that strand. Uh, but yeah, I'm touch the I'm touch the top of the capacitor with a hot glue gun on the side of it, and watch what happens. The voltage starts going up. And I'll remove it and of course the voltage will still go up because there's still a little bit of heat residue still left there. So the voltage will still go up a little bit. But it'll eventually uh, heat will equal out and cause the voltage to go down. But it's actually a thermocouple. And why is this so important to note? Well, a normal thermocouple uh, uses two dissimilar metals, and that'll give off a voltage uh, that variates through temperature. Um, what's special about capacitors is that they're purely aluminum. Their plates are aluminum. Their case is aluminum. Um, that's unique. That's uh, that's something different. Um, the meter's trying to shut off on me. 
Um, but yeah, it says right here, a thermocouple is a junction between two different metals that produce a voltage related to the temperature difference. Um, a capacitor uses the same similar metals, much like uh, my water cap crit batteries. So I have come to the conclusion that these are actually thermocouples. And I found that out uh, by boiling some water and putting that two plates and not boiling water and I got half a volt. So I figured out how to get more voltage. Uh, it's actually a thermocouple. And these capacitors themselves are also thermocouples. And we're going back down on voltage again. Um, but yeah. They're thermocouples. So, uh, the capacitors are gathering the radiant heat energy that's around them and putting them to use. And that's the reason why we're seeing uh, self-charging circuits. They were taking the heat energy that constantly surrounds us and putting it to use by transforming transforming it into electrical energy. So that's why we were seeing uh, voltage or uh, self-charging in some circuits. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty interesting thing to note. Uh, capacitors are actually capacitors and cap treads are actually thermocouples, but a special kind of thermocouple because they used two of the same same metals unlike normal thermal couples which use two of the very different metals um but yeah <laughs> we're actually making use of radiant energy when it came to cap trets <laughs> it's pretty cool because you're always given heat there's always going to be heat somewhere and cold is just a variance of uh heat so you're always going to have heat and that's why um we were seeing self-charging like i said so that's pretty cool.